Hi, this is Bob from WAMS Tech, and today we're going to show you how to use the Quick Voice app for iPad. Quick Voice app is probably one of the easiest apps you're ever going to use. If you're familiar with the Fisher Price Recorder, you can probably use Quick Voice. So students can download it from self-service. Teachers can install it from the App Store. So simply select Quick Voice, open the app. I already have a couple of recordings in here. However, your list will probably be blank. And to begin recording, you just push the big red record button down the bottom left-hand corner. It's now recording my voice. Hi, this is Mr. Petito, and I'm doing a tutorial on Quick Voice. At any point, I can pause my recording to collect my thoughts before I move on. Hit Simply hit resume to resume. Quick Voice is one of the easiest apps you're ever going to use for spoken feedback. Hope you like it. All right, once I stop my recording, you can see that it's time stamped and it states how long it is and how big the file is, so it's not a big file whatsoever. Select the information icon over on the right hand side to rename. Right, I, can, I can rename this uh, Quick Voice. All right, some people use Quick Voice for dictating their notes. Uh, specifically for those who are using the iPhone app. So they do have an add reminders over here. So if you want to create for yourself voice reminders, you can do that. For those purposes, I'm not going to. I'll click save. All right, and now I have my recording and it's ready to be shared. So simply select the share icon in the bottom menu. And as you can see, there are a variety of ways to share recording. I can share it via email. I can add it to my notes, for like again, those voice notes. I can copy it to Haiku. So what's nice about that is that teachers can use it to give an, um, spoken instructions, or students can use it to attach via Dropbox for an assignment, let's say. You can copy it to Google Drive, which is very useful, so that way you can use it um, and, and share it to teachers or other students for um, spoken assessment purposes or exit slips or vocab purposes. There's a variety of ways you can use Quick Voice. I'm interested in hearing about how you're using it. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to email me at robert.petito at woodward.edu. Thanks for watching.